What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrin01. Welcome back to more The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. We are heading towards the infirmary. A lot of, lot of fun parts coming up in the next couple of parts. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far, and it's good time. We're gonna keep it going strong. Just wait here for the dock, and don't you fucking dare move. Alright, so we got a code to be able to get into that side. However, we need a code to be able to move on, which is to get over to that side. Now, as you can see, the room's a little bit different, so when they updated the graphics and all that kind of stuff, they changed a few of the layouts of things out, but not too much of a big difference. So, really, all we need to do is this guard here is just kind of like in a rotationary pattern. Now, easily we can go behind him and stealth kill him, but doing that right now will actually get this guard's attention, and we don't want to do that. We want to try to do this completely 100% stealthy without actually even messing with any of the other guards. So you can do that by quickly doing this here real quick. Now this guard doesn't move unless you get too, too close to him. And then you can sneak up behind this guy and we can do a loud kill. So that's pretty much how you do that with actually taking out both guys uh, without actually having to worry about either one of them. So normally a lot of people just take this guy out, but they don't really know that you can actually kind of just get up right behind this guy once he moves, be able to take him out, and then uh, none's the wiser. So because of that code we got right before we entered, we can go ahead, get in here, and grab the pack of smokes, which of course you know I've already gotten, and we can get a different weapon, which is the scalpel, which is a little bit, kind of does a little bit more damage than say the normal shiv. So I think, are we full on health yet? I'm not really sure. Yeah, we're full on health. So as soon as we enter in here, we've got a nice little surprise waiting for us. Granted. Just gotta time it right. Alright, so we got him taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and replenish our health. Let's go ahead and get out our scalpel. I wish I would have remembered to equip it right then, but... Alright, now we can move on. Time for a health upgrade. As you can see now, we have five blocked cubes, so we got a little bit more health to... We're gonna need it, trust me, because now we're gonna get into the really harder sections with all the guards with weapons. So don't be fooled by our stealthy shadow right there. <laughs> Let's go wait for this guy to go by. He's none the wiser. Nice. We don't really need to, but we'll go ahead and let him down by his friends. Come on, oh, it's like a kind of like a game, you know, you try to try to get him above. Oh, he just doesn't want to go. Alright, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> he just doesn't want to go. Alright. So we'll just get him over here in the shadows. Now, when you're first playing this game for the first time, you're thinking, yeah, it's probably a good idea to hide all the bodies, but there's no other guards that ever come in any of these sections, so there's really no point. So, it's really up to you just to kind of how thorough you want to be as a gamer. I always want to be as thorough as possible, as I feel that Riddick would do the same. He doesn't want to get caught. Notice. I'm gonna check who's there. Well, in here. Keep looking. Give it a second for his flashlight to turn around. Hmm. Nothing here. This is turning into a fucking zoo. Man's sneaking around everywhere. Yeah. I know he's around. Yeah. Attention. 
Riot at Block A. All personnel keep to standard Riot procedure and await special task force. Eat this, prisoner! Now one really cool thing is that it automatically holds on to the body when you go in places like this. So you can really get them like in places that you wouldn't normally think you'd be able to, to get them. So that's pretty cool too. Gotta stay in the dark. so that light doesn't see him. Now this part can be actually really tricky. Is you have to be patient here because this guard, he's automatically alerted. Like no matter what you do, you'll never be able to really sneak up on this guy. So just wait a little bit. You can see him right there. You wait till he gets up. Like enough. You see a shadow there, he kind of stops and he keeps moving a little bit. Now is when you want to go. See, he automatically gets alerted. There's nothing you can do about it, so it's... I don't know if it's really a glitch or anything, but... It's just better to wait. And he can take you out very, very quickly. So it's better to just kind of, like, entice him this way. <laughs> Gotta get that right timing. There we go. Alright. Nice. So, as I said, there's nothing you can do about that right there. Automatically, it's just going to happen, so... We're just going to take him back a little bit over here, just so he's kind of out of the way. Don't want him out in the light. These are all kinds of things that you have to worry about. I like how that's like a little... looks like a little nod to maybe, uh... Sam Fisher right there. The little three, uh... The goggles. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a true Easter egg or anything like that, but... Now it's time to move on to the mainframe. The mainframe. Security will be tight. I like a challenge. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm definitely going to make it a little bit more challenging than it normally would be. Rock solid machinery and no childproof programs. This is not the coder's dream. We're going to try to land on them. Uh, Sometimes, I mean, you got to be perfect when you land on someone from this height. So either way, hopefully we'll still be able to get the stealth kill. But I'm going to make this area a lot more challenging than it really is. Uh, this is kind of where the game wants you to figure out how to use its weapons and go guns a-blazing. So we're going to figure all that out and hopefully... We didn't do it. It didn't even land on him. It landed on him, but it didn't kill him. So, I mean, it's a little finicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, we're gonna set this up. Now things get interesting. Security breach in mainframe area. Possible breakout. You got no response from him. I'm investigating. Always go for the challenging parts here. You can just see where his flashlight is. Nice. We were able to get both the stealth kills. Which is not easy to do. Alright. So pretty much that means stealth is out the door from now on as this is definitely more of the action part. Sorry if you guys can't see a lot. But we were able to do that completely silent. And then get the other kills that way, so. As you can see, there were two other guards waiting there. Nothing that we could have done to uh, continue on with the stealth part there. So sometimes you gotta go do what you gotta do. Grenade! Right 
All right, got through that. You can't really stealth that guy. I mean, he it's because of the light and whatever. You just you kind of got to get up there as quickly as you can. Now, this next part can be very, very challenging to stealth. Again, you know, my whole mission is not to stealth every part, but it's to make the game is what I feel Riddick would do in certain situations. Alright, so let's look at our objective. Continue through the mainframe and get back to the cell blocks before they close the pit. Alright, so we got one guard there, and you can see we got one guard there. Ah, oh, this is turning on buckets. It means sneaking around everywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to land on one of them. And then take out the other one with his own weapon. Nice. And we pick up shotgun. Always try to have some type of strategy. Security breach in mainframe area. Runner is Riddick. Prisoner 5421136-2. Now that's not exactly how I wanted that to go. I was trying to get over here quick enough to where I could get over to this corner and be able to stealth that guy, but you gotta be really, really quick, obviously, so. And remember, these guys can kill you so, so quickly, especially on this difficulty, so you gotta do really kind of like, try to set up as much of a headshot as you can, and then go back. See, I mean, they just got amazing aim. It really is ridiculous how good their aim is. Alright, so we've got the dark. Riddick prefers to stay in the dark, and I know that sucks for you guys too, because you can't obviously see as well. But uh, because of guards' placements and things like that, we need to be smart about all this. What the fuck happened here? Pick up another pack of smokes. Okay, now you'll see that there's a guard. So the guard is actually right over there, but you can't really see him right now. So you want to land, obviously, where you don't think the guard is going to be able to see you. I guess we'll switch to a shotgun. Now, I can't see, and that means you can't see. So this is not... Very easy to do, is I'm trying to figure out where this guard is without having to f flash my... Sh I'm thinking he's right there. Hey, prisoner! That's what you kind of have to do, because you, he was just waiting there, you know? So it can be a little, uh, it can be really, really tricky. He ain't, he ain't scaring Sinner String. I mean, yeah, I've played this game a lot, so... <laughs> but I don't want to ruin anything by telling you where a guard is, so I at least want to give you guys some of the jump scares, you know? Alright, as soon as we do this, we need to hurry up and get back. Now, as soon as you go up a little bit further, there's going to be like this automatic thing, so... Just trying to figure out how to time it. Grenade! Take cover! I don't 
think he's dead, but he could be. Nope. Gotta get little pot shots at him. Got him. Such an amazing game, though, isn't it? As you can see, you can actually see a little bit better when you go down into this mode. Alright, so we got a few enemies here. One's just right there. We might have to do this non-stealthily because he's not really giving us a chance. I don't know where this other guy is. Could be just one guy. He's dead! I got a dead body here! <laughs> Trying to give you guys the best gameplay, which scares the crap out of me, too. A lot of things are unpredictable in this game, so you really gotta kind of, uh, figure it all out as you go as well, you know? Oh, not this part. Oh, here we go. One of the hardest parts that you could do, so... Make sure our objectives are still the same. You can see we opened up a little bit more of the map. We're heading in... Heading back to the prison yard. Still same mission. Alright, just gotta go in here. Hope for the best. Alright, we were able to get by that part at least. You are gone, prisoner! And one of the most challenging parts, of course. Gotcha. Nice. Woo! Alright, so pretty much strategy is you just gotta get behind them, and then hopefully, you know, it'll work the way you want it to. So, if you didn't know, you can also... There's many, many strategies, and I want to make sure you guys know everything that you can do. I don't care how long the videos are. Some more weapons up here. That, uh, you can actually get up here as well. Kind of shimmy along here to get over to here, and then you can try to find them from up here, or get behind them. Whatever you want to do. Uh, hopefully, whatever method like that works for you. I don't believe you can get up there. But yeah, let's keep going. It's back to our cell block A. Special task forces are now entering the cell block. Stay low and do not move. All 
All right, so this is a very tricky part. I think we got them both. Switching turret settings from tranquilizing to lethal. Gotta shoot the turrets. And uh, you gotta really know kind of where they are. Alright. Take it slow and steady, stream. Slow and steady wins a race. See if he comes up any closer. I just really don't like the lighting in this part of the game. Not very good. Almost let him kill me right there. They come on, they come at you like spider monkeys in this game. That's why you gotta take it short and steady. I think it. Yep, that was a turret. Sometimes you can't tell if something's a turret or not. All right, looks like we're clear. I'd rather do this with lights out. to it. I think we already got it. Oh, nice. I think you can shoot the fan out too, right? Yeah. You can make the fan actually land on the guy too if you want to. And look at <laughs> look at his head go rolling. Locked. Need to con the hacks into opening it. Alright, so I wish I could show you guys some better lighting, but you're just going to have to trust me that it's best to keep it off. Follow what glows, I guess. We don't have Riddick shine ability just yet. Grenade! God, that took almost all my power. Looks like they're all the way over there. My gosh, man, they're hard to hit. All right, best not to take a chance. We still should have some more of this up here. You know, there might be other people that get through these sections faster, but that's because they really, really, really went through the levels and figured out exactly what to do. Me, I kind of like to fly by the seat of my pants sometimes, and this is, uh, this is one of them. I don't want to know everything. I want to be surprised by some things, but I want it to be fun for you guys to watch. say we just lit into that guy I think we got him 
he's still alive, man. Holy shit. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it. I know this was a difficult section to get through, but looks like we're finally done. <coughs> Thor? Me. Of my misery. Your wish is my command. All right, here we go. It's a sudden stop at the bottom. <laughs>